Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg, Search Advocate at Google. And today I'll talk about something I'm very passionate about, data visualization. I'll go through a Looker Studio report and talk about best practices when it comes to monitoring your website search traffic. I'll also share a way for you to enrich your Search Console data inside your Looker Studio dashboards. Before we go into charts and graphs, I would like to discuss data visualizations on a higher level. What is the purpose of your dashboard? I believe most visualizations can be classified into three use cases. First, a monitoring dashboard provides you with a way to quickly discover a change in the data. For example, spikes or dips in page clicks and click-through rates for important pages of your website. Second, a data exploration can help you uncover insights from data. For example, analyzing search performance patterns across different countries, devices, or website sections. While you use monitoring dashboards to find out there is an issue, you'd use data exploration to find out why it happened or how to improve your performance. And third, data investigation can be used to uncover trends and patterns from aggregate search data. For example, highlighting to your boss or even the world how a specific industry or topic is behaving. In this video, I'll discuss a monitoring dashboard, which should help you find out issues as they happen. In the next videos, I'll also discuss examples of data exploration. Monitoring dashboards are part of most people's lives. For example, your car has a dashboard where you monitor the main metrics you need to drive a car, or your fitness app where you monitor your exercises throughout the week. What these dashboards have in common is that they use simple visualizations such as line or bar charts. Those are easily understandable. Their goal is not to dive deep into the numbers. Monitoring is about looking at the trends and spotting any changes quickly. In this video, I'll go through an example using Looker Studio, previously known as Data Studio. The tool lets you create customizable charts with just a few clicks. It also allows you to connect data from multiple sources and has a simple way to share dashboards with your team. Go to the URL below to find a monitoring dashboard template and link it to your own Search Console data source. If you don't know how to create a data source, check the links in the description. There are three main sections in this dashboard. First, the filters, which allow you to control the data shown and the dates. Second, the line charts, to help you monitor clicks and CTR over time. And last, the table, showing a drill down into specific pages. In the filters section, you can change between different Search Console properties you have access to. Choose a date range you'd like to see in the report, or select one of the following. Page. Use this to include or exclude one or more pages from your website. You can use regular expressions similar to the way you use them in Search Console. Type. Use this to choose among the different data types, including Discover and Google News. You can only choose one at a time. Country. Use this to include or exclude one or more countries. Device. Use this to choose one or more device categories. After you've filtered your data, the line charts will show you how your metrics change over time. In this case, we chose to look at clicks and click-through rate, or CTR. As you can see, weekends and weekdays have very different patterns. It's a good practice to always use a multiple of seven days in your line charts. Keep your eyes on days that break that pattern. When you analyze trends, charts will be more helpful to you. But if you want to go deeper, it's more effective to analyze particular pages or groups of them using a table. For example, use the page filter to include only specific sections of your website. Use the country filter to check how different pages perform in countries you care about. Use the type filter to analyze page level performance for each of the data types. In the previous episode, I discussed ways to join performance data exported via Google Sheets to other sources of data, like website sections, country regions, and budget. 
This is also possible inside Looker Studio using the data blending functionality, which allows you to create charts, tables, and controls based on multiple sources of data. Check the links in the description to learn more about data blending. It's not always straightforward, but since this is a video, you can pause or watch it in slow motion. Let's use a similar example from the last episode, where you have a spreadsheet that maps all your pages to different website sections, such as the one shown here. Create a data source for this spreadsheet on Looker Studio. Then navigate to your search traffic monitoring dashboard and select the table. In the Setup menu, you'll find an option to blend data. When you click it, you'll find an interface where you can join a table to the existing data source. Click to join a table and choose the data source you just created. Then click to configure the join. You'll see several join operator options. You can learn more about them in the links in the description. For now, I'll choose the left outer, which returns matching rows from the right table plus non-matching rows from the left table. Choose the page fields from both tables and hit Save. Then pull the section dimension into the dimension box and hit Save again. Now you'll see the dimension section also available in the table setup. So you can use it to monitor your main metrics by section on an ongoing basis. You can do the same for multiple tables to enrich your monitoring dashboards with information that is not available through Search Console. In addition to page groups, you could also blend query clusters, country regions, and others. Your imagination is the limit. Hopefully, the tips in this video will help you build dashboards that are insightful and easy to understand. You can use the template provided here as a starting point or build something from scratch. But remember, for monitoring dashboards, always use easy to understand visualizations, such as line and bar charts, and eventually tables. In the next video, I'll show some examples of data exploration, also using Search Console data. Stay tuned. Are you kidding me?